Welcome back everyone. Let's say you have a program, in my case it's Google Chrome, and the program is transferring data. In your case it could be BitTorrent. And you really want that program to connect to internet only while the uh, VPN client is running for security reasons. Uh, now there is a program called VPNetmon that can automatically monitor your VPN connection and once you get disconnected it will automatically shut down the software that's transferring the data. In my case I'm going to test it on Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and Google VPNetmon, go to their download section and download the one for Windows 7 and take it out of the zip and you should see three uh, items. Go ahead and double click VPNetmon Basic. And this is going to be the interface. On the interface, it says VPN down. Even though you can see I'm connected to VPN, VPNetmon does not understand that I'm connected to VPN. And in order to fix this, click on OPT and under VPN IP stat, it is looking for your IP address to begin with 83. That's how it determines that you're connected to VPN. In my case, the VPN Netmon believes that my IP address starts with 10. Okay, this is not the same IP address as website C. This is an internal IP address. But uh, to make keep it simple, this digit 10 is what should be here instead of 83 it should be 10. if for you this first digit of the first uh, field is something else let's say 20 then here under vpn ip start it should be 20. you get the point now that these ip addresses the first octet of ip address matches i'm going to click save and you see that it immediately says vpn ok it recognized that. Now I'm going to disconnect from VPN and you should see that it immediately noticed that the VPN is down and I'm going to connect to VPN now. Okay I reconnected to VPN and it properly detected that the VPN is connected. Now, uh, next thing is configuring Google Chrome, or for your case, it could be something else, to be automatically shut down once the VPN goes down. And for that, we have to click Browse and select the location of the executable file that runs your program. In my case, it's Google Chrome. Let's click Browse and select Google Chrome. And now I have the full path leading to chrome.exe. And go ahead and check the mode that says Paranoia Modus. What it does is it reduces the monitoring time to zero. So uh, it constantly monitors. It no longer waits one second. And so when your VPN goes down, it will immediately shut down Google Chrome to minimize the leakage. Uh, make sure to also, before you save, click on CONTR. It's also a security measure. And just observe this window. This is how it should look like. Click Save. And Google Chrome's icon now appears here. I'm going to disconnect and reconnect again. OK. So the VPN Netmon, let's go ahead and close it and launch it again. I have Google Chrome open. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect from VPN and let's see if it works. Right click CG USA and disconnect. Once I press this, Google Chrome should shut down ideally. All right, we press disconnect and as you can see, it it no longer exists. It was shut down. Let's press quit. And the VPN, VPN Netmon also crashed. So it crashed Chrome and it crashed itself, which is perfect in my opinion. All right, if you found this useful, 
make sure to check out my other video regarding VPNs and the link is in the description section. Leave a like button and a comment. Thanks for watching.